All right, guys, uh, today in my video, I'm going to be doing a before and after sound comparison on my 2017 Cummins. Um, right now I have a five inch Flow Pro turbo back exhaust system. I've been running it for about two years. It sounds really nice. I'm cruising down the highway 70 miles an hour, sixth gear. It's right at 16, 1700 RPM. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much on 35 inch tires. They're 325, 65, 18s and it sounds really, really nice. But I do tow a gooseneck pretty frequently, and so I back it down to fifth gear, and it starts to lug it, or you go you know, 75 miles an hour, and it brings it up into the drone zone, as I call it, 2200 RPM to like 24, 2500, and it just gets really nasty in the cab, um, especially when you're going like cross country type of stuff. Um, I'm in Minnesota, I go out to Moab, Utah with my Jeeps and whatnot, and uh, it can get pretty obnoxious. So I do want to tone that down a little bit. I did end up going with this Aero Turbine 5050 XL muffler. Uh, this is super nice looking muffler. I haven't seen many videos on it, which is kind of why I'm doing this one. And the videos that I have seen, they haven't been the best. And this is also to help people decide if they want a five inch exhaust system with a muffler or without a muffler. Uh, I'd say if you're kind of a daily driver guy, you'd be fine without a muffler. Um, but if you do tow quite a bit, or enough to care, I think this muffler is going to be a really good choice. Um, this is their resonator muffler, so it's got a resonator built into it along with its normal Aero Turbine 5050, the non-XL. So we're going to do a few song clips before and after, um, driving away, driving by kind of stuff, and a few revs here and there. Other than that, we're gonna get this video going. And before we get this thing installed, if you guys already do have the GoPro exhaust system on here, something super neat and I found very convenient is that the muffler is 30 inches and on my crew cab short bed, I guess, 6.4 bed, 6 foot 4 inch, whatever, um, this section is 30 inches. So we're just going to take this out and slap the muffler in. Um, I know I have seen a red or whatever, um, the closer to the turbo you can get the muffler the better, but without having to hack any of this up and this being as convenient as it is, as it is I'm definitely just going to throw it right here. I think it's going to make a huge difference regardless and it won't really matter all that much. So here we go. So here we are, got the muffler installed. Took about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, it does have an inlet side. It is labeled on this one. Um, but also on the exhaust side, it does have this crunched up looking part. 
I did have to drop the tailpipe section on my Flow Pro exhaust uh, right there. Just dropped that off. I did jack the truck up as well because um, it was hitting the uh, track bar, pan hard bar, whatever you want to call it, in the back there. <clears throat> and same as putting it all together. I put the muffler on. Then this section, I left it all loose. Tailpipe section. Um, I just slowly tighten it down as needed. And that's about it. Looks pretty snazzy. So I've had the exhaust on for about three days now. The drone is still there, but it's probably a third less than what it was, and it's a lot less harsh. The overall tone of the exhaust sounds great. Cruising down the highway, it is definitely quieter. Another thing to note is the exhaust brake. That used to screech pretty loud, um, you know, let off the throttle. My exhaust brake's on all the time. That is mostly gone now, and the turbo whistle in the morning when you first started up and it's cold, that's completely nearly completely taken care of <clears throat> so it's it's had a lot more benefits going for it than i realized i do like it a lot i definitely recommend it uh, if you guys like this video please like subscribe and share and i'll see you next time